Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you for coming back. Um, so today is a Friday try-on. I can't believe they've actually started to start up again. I'm really excited about it. Um, and today is a Primark try-on, which I feel like I haven't done in absolutely ages. It's been probably about four nearly five months I'd say, um, but I'm really excited, I went there, I just want to say, grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks and get into the video, I did want to just say about getting in there obviously with the social distancing at, mom at, at the moment, um, so currently where I live the Primark is quite a small Primark um, and it was really really quite empty, there wasn't hardly any queues, they were, they're not letting a lot of people in the shop, so even when there is a little queue outside, you're having to wait your two metres, it's out in the open air, it isn't within a shopping centre or anything like that, and then literally you're queuing up, and because there's only so many in there, by the time you get into Primark, you feel like you're in there Christmas Day, like it feels like there's no one in there, it's really, really empty, and what was really lovely is, is I think to make sure that they didn't have to be asked questions of staff and stuff, they had like extra rails next to the original rails where it had extra clothing. Down by the checkouts, they've actually completely removed the, the centre aisle where you would get like knickknacks as you walk round. It's completely a big open area and it's a case of they put their hand up when they're ready for you to come over and the queues are really small because everyone's on the tills. There's glass screens between the actual people serving. It's really good actually. I feel like they've really put precautions and before you enter the shop you have to use hand sanitizer. They say keep your distance and there is a one-way system where you go around. So also as well, I just want to clear there's two e entrances normally, entrances and exits. They're using one as an entrance and the other as an exit so you're not crossing paths with anybody. You're literally doing a one-way route around the shop. If you want to go upstairs you can, if not then you continue round. If you do go upstairs it's a loop. You come back down to near the escalators and then you continue the loop that the person goes around. So you're never coming into contact with anybody else as you go around. As you go around, I lost my breath then. Um, I did pour myself a little tea and then drink to have a little sip of it. And if you can see here, I've got tea on my top because I literally spilled it because it was boiling hot. So I'm not drinking the tea, but let's get into the video. I just thought I'd clear that up because I know a lot of you are worried or frightened to go there. And I'm not saying it's going to be like... I think, this, I think the actual things that they've got in place will be in all the shops, as like Primark, all the stores, but I'm not too sure whether it's going to be busy or not, I can't guarantee that, um, but I did get some really beautiful stuff, and what's really nice is, is, I don't know, it's just perked me up a little bit, it's made me feel quite nice, I've got some nice new little bits when we take dogs for walks, we go out for a little bit, Just it's just perked my mood up, and it's really nice, and one thing that was really lovely is I picked up a few bits for the kids as well, because they have got absolutely zero summer clothes at the moment, like because they're kids, last summer clothes don't fit them, and they was wearing like, big sort of like wintery type clothes, and they was getting really hot, so I got them some shorts and some tops, and Primark have some really, really lovely play suits for little girls in there at the minute, I've got Millie a few, Um. So, I'm in my jeans, guys, and a vest. The reason being is I've got one dress to show, the rest are blouses, so I thought I might as well already have my jeans on. They're the vintage slim ones from Primark. You've got, I've got a little bit of a tire going on here, guys. This is all the Kipling cakes that I've had during isolation, and I am not ashamed at all. It's just more of me to love. Um, so I'm gonna get in, and the first thing I picked up is there's lots of these color tones about at the moment, and they're just so beautiful. So last summer it was very much like browns, wasn't it? But now they've gone to like a blushy brownie colour, so it's like this lovely bl blushy beige colour. And I'm noticing there's lots of peplum shirts. Now the peplum shirts are just so flattering for all body shapes. Um, so I've got this shirt, I picked it up in a size 16, I'm not sure if it's going to be a bit tight on me, but it does look quite oversized, otherwise I would have got an 18, because I've gone up to an 18 during isolation now. Um, so this is a size 16 and how much does this cost? £11. So this is the first blouse. I'm loving these puffball sleeves as well. These are really so in. I just love them. I like anything that doesn't really cling to me. So it has got a high neck, but it comes in really nice at the waist. So what you can do is you can sort of tie this in. I would say that if you're going to tie this, never tie it at the front because it draws attention to your belly. Always tie it to the side and it draws away. Um, but this is probably to go and be done up behind, I'm not too sure. Um, and it has got a button at the back, so if you want to reverse this, you can do. But I think it might look a bit fussy with a V-neck, because, let's push the bar up a bit, might look a tiny bit fussy with a V-neck. I do think you could afford to get away with, come on then, you come in, come on then, little fat dog, he's on the bed, 
just ready to go. Ah, oh, did you try and come in? You try and come in. Oh, I love you. Um, so yeah, you could wear this with this sort of colour jeans. I think it might look nice. So a darker colour jeans and maybe like a nice straw handbag and some little tan flip flops. But it's got this lovely like cream sort of check going for it, which I think is lovely. And it's nice because even though it's got the puff, the tight bit here comes in sort of this area, but it's not tight. I hate that when it's very restricting. And um, there isn't a button on this, so you can't adjust this, but it is quite a loose and it's not seeming to arise at any any area I probably would tie this up at the front you know just so that you can actually see the detail of it and like a nice pair of dark skinny jeans nice tan flip-flops I'm gonna pull my jeans up because they've gone a little bit little bit low but yeah I really like this and it cinches you in at the waist and it comes in really nice it just pulls you in lovely and I really like this color and I think it would go really lovely with this so while I was in there as well a lot of their accessories in the sale and these were meant to be a fiver originally, these headbands, but they've gone down to two pounds. So I thought, what a lovely colour. It's got like little pearls and gold bits and that on it. Let's have a little look. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror at the same time. So I think maybe with a nice headband as well that look really, really cute. Nice little straw bag. Really, really pretty. Really, really like this. Um, so that's gone down to two pounds. So I've got that as well. Right, let's get on to the second blouse. I'm so excited. There's one I know you're going to really, really love. Oh, pull the vest down. <laughs> right, let's see if it's one of them ones where you get stuck in it, all right? Oh no, that was relatively easy to get off, to be honest. So this one's a black blouse, and then this is really lovely. I really like this, and they've got this in a cream colour, and I thought this would be a lot of yours favourite. So it's a lovely peplum style blouse. This part is like a silky material where it isn't quite a cotton, it's like a if you ever iron something and it's gone shiny and it has it feels that feel to it it's a bit like that and then the bottom part of it is a little bit more shirty um, and if you turn it round it's got this beautiful deep v at the back with a lovely little tie up detail which is really nice so you probably couldn't reverse this because it would be extremely low v and um, this is so lovely and it's one of these tops where if you've got the school run or you're sort of popping anywhere or even if you're going out on a night out with nice nice skinny jeans or something called black trousers but this will be the kind of school mum top that I will wear. So this looks so nice with a pair of jeans and a little pair of flip flops. It's a lovely cut at the arms. So even though it cuts a little bit higher and I've got quite chunky arms, it cuts at an angle so it doesn't make them look more like look a bit more butch. And um, so it cuts across. It's also got this lovely little fold at the top there as well. And the V is just lovely. Now I probably would just wear a black bra and then not wear a vest for this, but you could wear a bright coloured vest or something to like jazz it up behind, but I would probably just wear my black bra. But it's such a nice length, and even though it comes in here, it isn't pulled in tight, it's still extremely loose, so if you've got maternity, or you know, you carry a bit more weight on your belly, and you're not too comfortable with it, this is lovely, and I just thought this would look really nice. And I did pick something up as well, I thought it might look quite nice with this. I've got, these are really in at the minute, and they're selling loads on sort of places like ASOS, but they've got them in Primark and they're a lot cheaper. Um, so these kind of sling back high heel sort of shoes. So these are like a little tiny block heel. They're not going to hurt you. You could wear these out. If I wore these, I'd probably just put on a pair of flip flops if I was driving or something. Or a pair of driving shoes and then put these on. Um, but these are comfortable enough to walk in. And I thought, how cute are these going to look? They're so in. And they come in wide foot. So I've got these in wide foot. They had these in a beige colour as well. Um, and these were £10. And they're real leather in sock. Um, so just so you can have a closer look. And they've got a really nice little gold detail there. And these are in the wide foot, which is really nice. Because I feel like I like to have a little bit of extra space. Um, so they're just really, really lovely. At the side. And they'll just look really, really trendy with this. Really nice. Put the other one on. <laughs> I've got moisturiser on my feet, peppermint, and I just feel them like slippery in them. I thought this would be really cute. Nice little handbag, it looked really trendy. Really lovely, I really like this top. And it is a swishy top, guys. It's a swishy top. And it's just going to keep you nice and cool in this weather, but it's just so lovely. And this is in a size um, 16. And this was, I normally tell you how much it is for a foot on. How much was you? <laughs> How much did you cross me? Eight pound, eight pound. How lovely is that for eight pound? And it isn't just a jersey top, it's got a different material to it. So you could wear this as a bit more go-y-at-y, a bit more 
trendy. And if you're going to get something like that off ASOS, it would definitely be about £20 at least. I've got my hair in my face. So, and they were a tenner, which I thought was really, really good. Um, also, another blouse I got. So, this is the same colour as the first blouse, but this sort of broidery. Broidery or broidery, I don't know how you meant to say it. These sort of little cut-out patterns are really lovely. So, yet again, it's got the puff sleeve and the peplum. But it's got a button V at the front. So if you like the first blouse but you thought it was too high neck, this is perfect for you. Um, and it's also buttoned. So I'm going to unbutton a few. Um, right, how much was this? So I've got this in a size 16 as well. And this was £13. So a little bit dearer, but £2 dearer. But I do think the quality is a little bit more on this one. Um, and also you get a button on the sleeve on this one. So if it is a little bit tight, you could always undo that button on the sleeve. I'm not like a well-oiled machine with this, am I? I'm so out of it. I've probably got like lipstick on my teeth and everything. <laughs> I've worn lipstick in ages. So, right, I can already see I probably could have got away with getting an 18 in this, but I'm determined just to lose my isolation weight. So get back into a 16, 18 on bottom. Um, but it does fit quite nicely anyway. There is a bit of space on the waist, which I'm quite lucky about. It looks like it's actually gaping, but it's not. It's because it needs an iron that is sort of like flappy there. Um, but I thought this was such a pretty blouse. So this, again, again, comes in at the arms. These are so trendy. They're selling these in all the shops like River Island and Topshop. And I just feel Primark is such a good place where you can get things that look really lovely. You know, like when you see someone walk down the street, you think, oh, do you know what? I really like that. That looks really pretty on. But they give it to you the same style, but so much cheaper. It's within everyone's budget, which is really nice. So if you just wanted something really lovely to wear, if you have sort of like once his isolation things going a bit or you're having a, a social distance meet up with your friends at the park having a picnic and you're all sat two metres away and you want to look nice, you can have a few pictures and it's going to be a nice day, you've not seen everyone for ages. Little pair of nice little sling back tan sandals, little pair of like mid cut jeans and a lovely little blouse like this I think would look really lovely. I'm going to have to iron that though because look, it genuinely looks like... I've got a gape there, but it isn't actually a gape. And I really like this. I think it's just such a nice colour as well. It comes in at the waist and then kicks out at the hips. So it gives you like more of a curvy look. Look. <laughs> it just needs ironing. Um, but yeah, and it's got this lovely little broadery pattern on it where it's got the little cutouts. So I really like this as well. I'm going to try something else on and then I'm going to show you the dress for last because then I'm going to take my jeans off. So I'm noticing as well, I never thought the 90s would come back. I was sort of like, you see all of the trends go around and my mum was like, trust me, save some of your stuff. Obviously not like actual 90s because I was a kid then. Um, but she was saying to me, save some of your stuff from a few years ago. She said, because it will come back. If there's something that you really love, don't just get rid of it because you think, actually, it looks a bit naff now. Save it. And weirdly enough, I had this beautiful waistcoat that I bought. And I've kept it in the wardrobe because I thought, you know what, I don't want to get rid of it. It's from Topshop and it's in like this mauvey colour. And all the waistcoats, summer waistcoats are back in now in all of the shops. And I'm so glad because it's such a beautiful waistcoat. And it's like a long one and it's got like pockets. It's more like a, a military sort of, what's it called? It's like a linen-y look. It's so nice though. Really, really lovely. Um, but something from the 90s has come back and rambling on. So in the 90s, we had all like the really strappy square neck vests or the vests that sort of come like this. You know what I'm talking about when they go around racer top like that. And a lot of like the kick flare trousers, platformy kind of sandals. All of that sort of groovy chick stuff's come back. Um, and so has the little crop cardigans with the tiny little one button here. I remember wearing these as a kid <laughs> and my mum wearing these. But they've brought them back and they're £7 from Primark. I got this in a size large, so 14 to 16. I didn't have any XLs, but I quite like a nice fitted cardigan anyway. I don't like it too loose because I feel like it swamps me a bit more. I'd rather it fitted to me little chunky arms rather than making them look larger. Um, so I've got this cardigan. They do have this in white and they have this in a pink. But I've got the pink one, very similar to that, from ASOS already. And this is lovely. So if you are a bit conscious in the summer of your arms, uh, or like, you know, it's getting to an evening, you want something to pack in your bag that's really light and small in case it's going to get cold of an evening and you've got a nice little dress on or a nice blouse. These lovely little cardigans, how cute, for £7. But it is like so 90s. I love it though. It is really cute. And the thing is, I've only got a vest top on. I probably would wear a different coloured vest top. Sorry guys, got a little bit of a low battery there. 
it is a low vest top. Um, a low vest top. What am I talking about? It is a grey. I'm talking about low battery. That's why. It is a grey vest top. I probably would wear this maybe like a darker vest top. Um, but even that, a little pair of little sandals or flip flops just looks really, really cute. In, and the belly. <laughs> oh, you know you've got so much respect for this. Look, I've earned this. This is like 12 weeks of pure indulgence. You love it. Um, so yeah, and I thought this was really good for £7 as well. I thought this was really, really lovely. And I'll tell you what, it is so thin that you wouldn't really feel like you was hot in it. And it is such a lovely soft material as well. It's really, really nice. And I love this sort of crop length here because I like to wear watches or like a little bangle sometimes. And, you know, you just feel like you've got too much on. You have to roll them up and then you've got like the thick bulk here. It's just a really lovely little cut. Really like this. And for £7, I think we're going to have to go back next month and get some, get a white one as well. I wasn't sure because obviously you can't try things on in, on in there. And I didn't want to just buy things that I felt I needed to take back because that's not really fair at the moment, is it? To take it back and then have like the workers sort through it and then do whatever they've got to do before it's safe enough to put it back on the shelf on, on the shop floor. And um, also while I was in there, I picked these up for Millie. Um, the end for myself. They've got these tiny little elastic hair bands, which I thought were really cute for a pound. So sometimes I tie my sort of hair back like this. And I want to disguise the clip, so I tie it back and it's the same colour. So I thought they've got little variants there. I thought I'd show you them because they're more my stuff. I never really show Millie's or the boy stuff on here. Also, as well, I'm always getting asked where I buy my bras from. I am on a shortage. Since this isolation, I had a pink one with little dots on it. That completely snapped. My black one snapped. It's gone like the bar has come out of the middle. This one's starting to fold over weirdly. I think it's because I tumble tried it, which I shouldn't have done. But I'm literally down to two bras. So I've got a pink bra and a movie bra. I've got no other bra. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick this up, see how it is. And then I'm going to have to go online and order some more bras. But I feel like where I've put on weight, my boobs have got a bit larger. So I don't know whether to get a size up. So really, I need to be measured. But that's going to be a little while. So I don't want to waste money on expensive bras. So for this one... I thought it was just really cheap, and if it doesn't fit great, then it doesn't fit great. This is £4, but they've got the larger sizes in Primark now. They go up from D to F. Um, so, I got this in a 36E, um, which is my size. I think I might have gone... It makes me laugh. I used to have a 32 double F before I had kids. So, I had a larger breast and a smaller back. <laughs> now, I've got a bigger back and smaller breast. Um, but, yeah. I wonder what this will look like. I'm, we'll, we will see. Obviously, it looks a bit tight, but I've got my bra on underneath. So, I'm going to have a little try on of that. And I will let you know in my next video. Um, next try on. I'll wait till next Friday when I do another try on. And I'll let you know how the bra went. I might even wear it underneath a vest or something. But, obviously, I don't want to try it on here. Because you do get some weirdos. Um, but, yeah, £4. I thought that was really good value. And they had loads of different colours. And I like that it's a t-shirt bra. They did have ones that are completely no pageant as well for £4. And they did have ones with a lacy pattern. But I always wear, like, I like it flat. So like when I wear a t-shirt or, you know, don't see the pattern through it. So lastly, let's get into it. I've got the same pattern as the broadery top I tried on last. I've got the beautiful white dress, which I think this is just like a perfect summer staple. Sunglasses on your head, little pair of flip-flops, straw bag. It's going to look beautiful. I've um, got this in a size 16, daringly. <laughs> and this was £18. So obviously the Primark dresses have gone up in price, but we've, we've known that for a little while now. Oh, it's got buttons on the front, but it isn't actually undoable. So you can't undo them buttons. But it's got this big sheared elasticated area at the back to help you get it on. Um, and it's got a little split at the front. So I'm going to put this on. And this is my little last item. Oh, do you know what? It's got a lovely little lining in it around the bum area. So it's only a short one just to cover your knickers, I imagine. If you don't have, like, nude knickers. People always wear white knickers, but you can always see white knickers through a white dress. I think you've got to wear nude. I'm funny like that. I'd rather wear a nude bra. For a white top, I'm just a bit mental like that, but I still think you can see the white. I think it defeats the object. I think sometimes you can see the white more as if it, if you would if you were wearing like a salmon coloured bra. Right. Yeah, I definitely feel this should have been an 18, but it's fine. I'll wait until a couple of weeks. When I've done a couple of weeks of Slim and World and it fits a little bit nicer. Oh well, girls, I think we're all in the same situation at the minute, anyway. Let's take my um. What are you doing? Are you chewing my blanket? <gasps> that is a bad boy. No, you mustn't wake your tail at me. That's naughty. You're chewing mummy's blanket. Naughty. Yeah, you look like a dog that gets told off often, don't you? You don't even care. Naughty boy. Why are you so cute? Because you make mummy not want to tell you off. 
A little sausage. Don't chew that, it's bad. Naughty. Well, you done. Well, you done. Bad boy. You mustn't do that. No. You don't even know, do you? Towel's going. Is that what? What have I done? What have I done? What have you done? What have you done? Lucky enough, he's not ruined it. It's just soaking wet. But to be fair, if it had got much further than that, it would have gone right through it completely. And I'm not that long. <laughs> All right. No, in case you ripped my dress. You've got long now. You need to go to the groomers. Oh, this is beautiful. So are you. You're having a stretch. Yeah, you stretch right up my dress with your nails. Right, let's get the stuff. <laughs> this is lovely. Let's pull the little skirty bit down because I've got black knickers on. Let's pull. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at this dress and it's got the lovely little split at the front. So obviously this doesn't undo, which is quite nice because sometimes they, when these do undo, you end up getting the gapes. Or you end up getting, like, you can see, see through it. Or they might undo, but they're not going to. And, oh, how lovely is this dress. It's so pretty. And I'll tell you what, it's such a nice length as well. And it's like, got a lovely puff sleeve. Comes in nice at the boobs. Comes in here at the waist. This has got a really big stretch to it. The only thing I'm struggling with is the booby area at the minute. Maybe if I pull them up and they weren't so low, it won't be an issue. Um, but yeah, I thought this is such a beautiful dress. It's going to look so lovely. Let's try the swish factor out of it, guys. <sighs> yeah, it's lovely and swishy, but this might be my little summer staple dress. So, this has been my little Primark haul. I'm a little bit rusty, guys. It took me a little while to get back into it because I've not done it for ages. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because it's completely free to do so. And if you'd like to know when my videos are up, if you click them up, if you pleck, if you pleck, try like a guitar. If you click, <laughs> I was going to say press and click, it's a new word, pleck. If you um, click the notification button, 